Yeah, my life is pretty hectic. I got four kids uh, from age 13 to 6, two boys, two girls, and they're pretty active in sports. <laughs> Woo! Yes, we are constantly busy. Go, Robbie. I have a Google Calendar. My wife has a Google Calendar. We kind of map up. It's like being on a carousel a little bit sometimes, but... But it's fun. Give me some. Yeah! We got tested, um, all the kids in the family, for polycystic kidney disease, which is genetic disease that's in, in my family on my mother's side. He was in his 30s when he found out he was... I believe 36 when he found out that he was in end-stage renal failure. The kidneys are only supposed to be about a pound. My kidneys were about 13 pounds each. When Rob came home from I remember the day he came home from the doctor's appointment and he said, you're not going to believe this. And I said, hey, I, I have to have a kidney transplant. May 7th was the uh, kidney transplant. Actually, before that was the conditioning. Uh, that was about a week before is when I, I had to get conditioned for uh, accepting the stem cells. So that consists of uh, chemotherapy, uh, full body radiation, several doses of chemo treatments. When the chemo finally started kicking in, um, seeing him deteriorate so much, honestly, I remember saying to myself, I never told anybody, but I thought I was coming home alone. I'm like, oh, it's, I mean, I can just, think back and picture how he looked. It was awful. I mean, his skin got, he got a rash all over his body. Mentally, he was just drained, just fatigued. It was, it was rough. Well, I decided to do the stem cell transplant because I didn't want to live the rest of my life on immune rejection drugs. The good and the bad of immune suppressant drugs is they let the kidney stay in your body. Uh, the bad part is that it slowly over time kills the kidney. It's toxic to the kidney. Seeing my mother go through the repercussions of having kidney disease and the transplant, immune uh, rejection drugs, she was almost at the point where she was a living corpse. Every morning you get up, you know you gotta take a pill. And every night before you go to bed, you gotta take a pill. In the middle of the day, you gotta take a pill. I'm good one day, and next couple of days, I'll be sick, and then it's just all. On and off thing. You know, it was a tough time going through it, but it's the best thing ever happened to me. <laughs> it's like he's rejuvenated. It's it's amazing. After the stem cell infusion, I looked at the doctor and I go, I think you fixed him too good. Oh yeah. Because he was just, I mean, he's alert, he's got his, all his faculties are working great. And for him to be just drug free is, oh, it's wonderful. I feel so fortunate because I've, I've been blessed with this. I mean, a, truly a new lease on life. I mean, I feel fantastic. So I'm, I'm thankful that he was able to be determined and to have that drive and the foresight to know that he was gonna get those stem cells. Actually, almost every day since then, I, I just walk around, I'm like, wow, I feel so good. I mean, and this is, is this really happening? These adult stem cells, to me, was a chance to live a normal life. And it's, it's, uh, it's amazing.